What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 YouTubers who got exposed part 3. Anyways, just like the first two parts, I want to make it clear that we don't hate any YouTubers and we aren't trying to expose anyone nor do we hate anyone. It's just a list of 5 YouTubers who got exposed, so yeah. With that said, let's see if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video and if we can get that, I won't expose you. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Number 5. Okay, so the thing about drama is it always starts with just one or two people, but to be honest, it never stays that way. Like at first, this beef was just between SS Sniper Wolf, Alyssa Violet, and Summer Rae, but it didn't take long to get way bigger. So basically, what went down was Sniper Wolf said some pretty nasty things on her live stream, saying Alyssa wasn't a real model and that she was only dating Faze Banks to get famous. Obviously, Banks wasn't happy seeing his girlfriend insulted, so he used Faze Sensor to prove a point by asking how many times Sniper Wolf had hit on him while she was dating someone. Now, Sensor clearly didn't want to get involved, but to be honest, he pretty much had to because Sniper Wolf didn't respond the best way. I mean, first she called out Sensor's girlfriend for having plastic surgery, and then she DM'd him asking him to set the record straight, even though he had text proving she'd hit on him. And then finally, she responded by calling him a liar and then questioned his integrity, which turned out to be the last straw because now those texts are online for everyone to see. With that said, Sniper Wolf is still saying the texts are fake, so this one really is still up in the air. May 18th, 2015, at 10.23 p.m., she texted me saying, Hi. You're cute. Never secrets, flirted, slept with any guy but my man. Wait, do people really think I tried getting with anyone from FaZe? All the way around, kids. He's a liar, guy. Last time I checked, when you text somebody saying, hi, you're cute, that tells me that's the most obvious way of flirting. Yannette, how would you feel right now yeah. if you're in the other room and I told you I'm editing a video and I text some girl named Johanna and I say, hi, you're Where's cute. Johanna? Huh? I don't know, it's just huh? a random name I made up. <laughs> that makes you angry, doesn't it? Yes, of course. We're in a relationship. I need yeah. to respect that. Yeah. She was in a relationship. The next text she sent me was, would talk to you more if I wasn't in an abusive relationship I can't get out of. Leah, don't question my integrity. Don't make up false lies and try to say things that aren't true. And not offend me never. And don't talk shit about my girlfriend. Because this is what happens when you do that. Yes, I'm never offend her. Never. I'm just say, hey, please respect my relationship. Number four. Now this is one of those scandals that unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably already seen it because pretty much everyone got involved. With that said, just in case you managed to avoid it, the short version is that Jake Paul basically docks Post Malone. Like Post Malone tweeted a picture of him buying Jake's merch and it was obviously supposed to be a joke, but Jake saw it and decided to pull up Post dress and deliver the merch himself. Now you're probably thinking that's pretty crazy, but it's actually even worse because he could have gotten his address from the merch site, which is totally illegal. Anyway, he shows up with his friends and films everything, which is super dangerous because you can see Post's house number and even the license plates on the cars. Not only that, but when Post answers the door, he's not even fully dressed and they keep trying to film him anyway. Like even when they ask permission, they still don't even tell him about the friend they've got filming across the street, so basically the whole video is super illegal as well as dangerous. Now the one good thing is they did eventually re-upload the video with a blur, but that only happened because of a very angry video from H3, and to be honest, the blur doesn't do a whole lot either. He gets the address just yesterday from FanJoy, and I'm sure this n cannot be legal. And if it is, it's extremely unethical. He gets Austin's address from the merch, and he goes to his flippin' house, dude. Austin texted me yesterday. He's like, you won't believe what just happened. Jake Paul showed up at my house and asked me to be in a verse of his song and handed me the merch, okay? Look and at I his recent vlog. Look at his most recent vlog, you guys. He fucking filmed it, dude. He completely doxed Post Malone, and I'm gonna blur this whole image out of respect for him. But this video already has 4.3 million views, and he completely doxed Austin. Yeah, this is his house. He's got like Rolls Royces and whatnot. He got the merch. You got the merch. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, I'm kind of nervous. Huh? I love how he does him the courtesy of blurring out the number address on the post box, except you can see the whole fucking house. You can see the cars, you can see the license plate, you can see exactly where it is. He doxed him, dude. Number three. So if we're being honest, this isn't the first time Jack Jones has been caught doing something he shouldn't be, but this might be the most extreme thing he's done so far. Like in the past, he's been called out for stuff like uploading a selfie as a tribute to the London terrorist attack or doing pranks to end with him nearly getting shot. But this video basically went viral in the UK press for all the wrong reasons. Now, apparently what happened was he was approached by a group of Russian guys and one of them called his friend English scum. Now, I think we could all agree that's not very nice, but most people think Jack went way too far in responding because what he said back was more than a little racist. I mean, not only did he tell the guys to go back to their own country and threaten to beat them up, but he also threw some anti-gay slurs in for good measure, which is kind of hypocritical since in his apology statement, he said he accepted all people. With all that aside, though, I have to give him credit for apologizing and manning up to his mistake. I mean, literally so many people could have been saved from just apologizing, so it's good he did it. 
How about that? Go back to your own country and shut the fuck up, you faggot. I'll knock the fuck out of you. You have no money. You have... How about that? Go back to your own country and shut the fuck up, you faggot. I'll knock the fuck out of you. You have no money. You have... Number two. Now you think one Paul brother would be enough for this video, but it turns out Jake's not the only one with the story that just dropped. Like I know VidCon was a while ago, but you probably remember that scavenger hunt Logan Paul set up there because him running through the middle of the meetup made huge news at the time. If not, all you need to know is that he hid $3,000 for subscribers to find and then showed up while they were looking, which resulted in a huge mob swarming him that actually hurt a few people. Anyways, you're probably thinking that sounds pretty bad, but it turns out it all could have been avoided because the whole thing was actually fake. I mean, yeah, the money was real, but it was found way before the video was recorded, and someone asked them to pretend like they were still looking just so we could run through the crowd on video. That means all the people who got injured could have been fine, but Logan thought getting the shot for his vlog was way more important. To be fair though, he did say that he didn't know the crowd would be that crazy, so it was probably an innocent mistake that got way out of hand. This is an absolutely big story, breaking today. Logan Paul faked the scavenger hunt that he did at mid- Now that mob was insane, and some of Logan Paul's fans actually got hurt in that in that stampede. But here's the thing, video evidence came out today proving that the $3,000 was already found, and Logan Paul and his team knew this and still put out hints to get the crowd in front of VidCon so Logan Paul could run through. Here is the proof. Right here, you guys are gonna basically act like it hasn't been found. All right. Because okay. we need, we need okay. it to look like that sure, we can find it before we got here. Right. You guys are hearing this, right? The money was already found. Jake Paul's team is asking people to look for the money, even though it's not even there. And Logan Paul is about to give out hints where the money's gonna be at, even though they know that the money has already been found. Number one. So it turns out the Logan Paul drama wasn't the only crazy thing that happened at VidCon, and to be honest with you guys, this video might be the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. Now, you've probably never heard of Christian Burns, so I'll go ahead and fill you in. He was a not-so-famous Instagram and YouTube model, but it's hard to know just how many followers he had because he had deleted and restarted all of his accounts. Anyways, to sum it up real quick, basically his whole career was destroyed when someone filmed him completely going off on a security guard that wouldn't let him in the building, and let me tell you, the things he was saying were pretty unforgivable. I mean, he kept calling the security guard ugly and poor, but believe it or not, that was actually the nicest part. Like, he also called him a peasant and said he was disgusting, and even told him to kill himself over and over again. Worst of all, though, for some reason he told the poor guy that he should be crucified, and he kept abusing him once the dude had escaped inside. Now, to be fair, he did release an apology, but the much better revenge here is that he basically lost his entire following, and his social media numbers have been reset to zero. So yeah, if you want to find his apology, you could find it on YouTube, but let me know in the comments below if you think it's for real or not. I mean, personally, I don't believe it, but it's totally up for you guys to decide. They're asking me. Back up! I don't even know this guy. Keep going, but you're the guy. Okay, I'm famous, but you're not. So, that doesn't make you any better. I have a lot more money than you. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm not here. You're not famous. You're right. Okay, I'm trapped in the spot. I make a lot of money. Back away. Back away. Back away. I'm. You do not treat me like a dog, dude. You're ugly as shit. No, you're ugly as shit, bro. You deserve to be like this. Like, get the fuck out of my face. You make no money. Look, what are you wearing? You're disgusting. Kill yourself, please. Dude, dude, money. that's not cool either. No, no, no. Don't say that. I don't even know who this is. I'm Shut the fuck And there's our video on the top five YouTubers that got exposed, part three. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever I upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top ten idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.